Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome. It's here. Planet Zoo is here. I'm trying to channel my inner hype to not go crazy in this episode, but it's here and it's happening. The inevitable is happening. I am building a camel habitat and it's styled to an Arabian palace, which I really hope that this is going to be interesting to look at for you guys. It will be a fully functional habitat you can download right now in the Steam Workshop. It's in there, you can download it. The link is in the description below and you can go crazy with it. The only thing is make sure to watch how I built the path because this is not included as always. But there will be some facilities where you can start off building the path so you do have the grid and I kept it all to a grid so it makes the whole thing easier for you. You can see this is where I put uh, the facilities on top here so you can use them to start off building it and then it should be easy for you to, uh, to kind of make this work. I would highly recommend to start maybe with the toilet or whatnot but you can totally see how it looks so now oh god guys um first of all big big thanks to frontier i um as you can figure from the video i didn't build that in the last couple of hours uh in fact in the last couple of minutes because the game as of now should be released for a few seconds now and you can see this full build here that means we had early access and yeah again big thanks to frontier it was a big big pleasure also for me it was super super good to have it because um as you know i'm i'm having a full-time job it's, it's not that i've got free time and i couldn't take a day off today so i'm i'm right at this moment i'm at work doing my stuff and uh, it's super good to be able to give you guys still some cool content hopefully you're gonna enjoy this um yeah it's insane i mean it's a camel habitat i've seen the camels in game i'm, I'm done it's uh, my life is complete it's it's all fine i i don't need to do anything else it's it's here it's and i can tell you at the end you will get some cinematics and there will be a baby camel in and if this is not the cutest thing on this mother earth i don't know what is this is insane i mean i i just kept looking at this animal for hours because it was so cute i have literally like a few gigabytes of cinematics only of this freaking baby camel because it's so cute i thought uh, the red pandas are cute no well they are but no not as cute as the baby camel it's insane and it's called Rudy. What, what would you guess? I mean, that's how it is. Anyways, let's talk about the build here in the background. This is going to be an Arabian style palace. And yes, before the people come, Bactrian camels, as this is the species that is in game, they tend to live more in the Asian area. So it's, it's not like, you know, it's not African camel. Uh, it is uh, an Asian camel in the game, I know. but. For me, I wanted to create something without any limitations, boundaries or whatever. I wanted to create an Arabian palace because it felt like camels, Arabian palace. This is something that works together and it's kind of an homage to my uh, Arabian area in my camel kingdom. So it, it all comes together. So for those of you who haven't seen camel kingdom, if you are interested, just type it in on my channel. You will find it. Um, I made a planet coaster series about this and I made an Arabian looking area with a lot of camels in there as well. And well, not functional ones before you search for actual living animals, not gonna happen. But yeah, so it was the inevitable. I needed to do this first in planet zoo. And I have to admit, holy heck, this was uh, this was kind of a, a crazy progress in here. You can see the footage is pretty much sped up a lot. Uh, it's very quick, and I even deleted. Damn it! I think one uh, one hour of work and tr testing stuff and trying out stuff and whatever is all deleted because. I figured, okay, I, I don't want to bother you with this. So what you see is basically only the, the perfect, nice stuff where I actually did some progress. Um, there is so much I, I kind of uh, played around with with the different themes and stuff. There's There are so many pieces in the game. I really don't uh, have the have the you know ability now to to know where they all are like in planet coaster for example i i can tell you exactly in which tab and in which line and in which position the one piece that i need is so but there is no surprise for me at all but in this game it's all new it's it's all new and i need to search for so many items as you can see um this is kind of a technique i used to do in planet coaster whenever there was a new update i threw all the new pieces to the bottom and i was testing around with those pieces to to see what they deliver what they can do what i can use them for and whatnot so there were a kind of a lot of pieces um, in here I did the same with now because I, I just figured okay I need to have them visually in my environment to, to see if I can use them and it is kind of a toolbox for me and just threw them in and, and build along with those pieces and in the end I, I always learn to use certain pieces with it and uh, once I have learned to use them 
I basically don't need to throw them down again because I know what to look for. I use the search function and I'm good to go. But you know, until I am as comfy as this, it takes a little bit of time. And so this is why I throw them down in case you were wondering. If not, here you had a story, whatever. <laughs> I mean, all right. So um, next up is, is a topic I need to talk about. Um, I think people kind of expect that also from me. Um, I got a lot of positive comments about this recently, especially with my, especially with my um, feedback video to the beta. So there is a lot of uh, positive about the game. Well, 99% of, of my opinion about this game will be positive. But there's one thing I want to address already, which I'm not really happy about. It's um, the lack of recolorable pieces, recolorable, blah, 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 whatever. Um, the flexi color option is you know, as it was, it's it's funny because it's exactly the same as at the beginning of Planet Coaster. Um, we also had a few uh, recallable items and then they, uh, over time, they changed a lot of items to be recallable. And so I really hope they do this again because especially with this building over here, I experienced somewhat of a... Well, I felt a little bit let down from the game because I can't, I couldn't do the the shading and the coloring of this uh, palace as I wanted it. I wanted to have it a lot more white-ish with a lot more golden assets to it and some shiny bright metal-ish roofs. The main issue I had about this is that with those few recolorable items, which in fact they are great, like the recolorable option pieces are great, they have a great texture in total, but most of the pieces I wanted to use because they had a great shape and stuff, they were already in one color. So, for example, building this onion roof, which I'm doing right over here with the, uh, you know, everyone knows about this copy trick. And I finally found my new um, favorite piece. This is this weird column in, in the middle, you can see. That's actually the only column that is grid based in the game. So this will be my no new go-to piece, I can tell you. This will be the piece I will always be using to copy things around. And I'm, I'm fairly happy with uh, the onion roof, to be honest. But again, uh, there was there were barely any pieces that I can recolor. And I ended up with this little pillar over here to create a, a smaller onion roof. Because I, at the end of the day, this was the only thing which had a nice shiny texture with a little bit of interesting depth in it, which you could still recolor. So, you know, this is what I was lacking a bit. So there were not that many pieces that had a great texture and were recolored at the same time. Like there are a few recolorable pieces. And if I say this word once again, please don't do a drinking game with it because it's going to be awful. Um, it's, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm happy with the result in the end. I, I can tell you this building looks good in the end. I'm happy with it. It's maybe not my peak. I will have to learn a bit more to, to get in with the pieces a bit more to, to learn about um, which kind of piece work together so I can get a bit less grid heavy and a bit more free form organic uh, heavy which i love to build a lot more i mean okay the one fair point though i mean castles and palace in total they are built on a grid anyway so it's very un unusual that you would find uh, an arabian palace that is not built any parallel and only organic that's not kind of the building style that we use anyway so i think it's fine to build this one on a grid but Sometimes I find buildings on a grid look pretty boring uh, because it sets the tone for them so early on that I, I don't know. Well, anyways, um, back to the color stuff. I, yeah, as I explained, uh, the, the reason for this um, building to look like the way it is is basically set in the fact that I needed to use for some of these sandstone pieces that do already have the color that is basically now the whole color of this build. So it, it's somewhat very slightly reddish. Um, sandstone ish, and I would have loved to have it yellow ish instead of red ish, but yeah, there was no chance for me to do it because there were not too many pieces that I could use. So I ended up doing this with those pieces available in this kind of red ish sandstone uh, color. There were a lot of pieces I could use, so they kind of set the tone for it, which is a bit unfortunate. It's it's feeling less free than it could be because the you know the game is actually as Planet Coaster very very free in terms of whatever you want to do the game allows you to do so, but yeah. And uh, now we are going to start off with doing a little bit of the detailing here. It's it's pretty interesting to know um, that I, I started off this building and I wasn't happy with the first iteration of this build. So again, I, I cut out all the footage. So I, I just kept spamming details in to see if it's getting any better and it didn't. So what I ended up with is I, I tried to reduce the details I put everywhere and I completely 
um, went in and made a second attempt. And this is what you're seeing right now. The second attempt went way better because I, I went a little bit more easy on the details. And this is somewhat weird because in a Planet Coaster, it kind of uh, always appeared that the more details you were using, the better the overall building looked. And yeah, to kind of put the crown on top of it, you needed to use a bit of foliage and then the building was pretty much perfect. I don't know if it's because the game is more detailed and it has a lot more uh, nice shading and stuff and you can actually distinguish the pieces better than before. Maybe that's the reason why the details um, need to be a bit more carefully placed, I don't know. But I, you know, it appeared that this is something I want to look in more. And at the same time, I wanted to, to somehow stay within the piece limit uh, for you guys to provide you the blueprint at the end, uh, which I can tell I succeeded in. So you can download this from the description again as a reminder if you just skipped into this point of the video, you know, skip it, skip. I know you guys doing it. I know you guys doing it. I know you skip to this point and then you're like, what is this dude talking about me skipping? How does he know? Well, Coincidence. Uh, so <laughs> we are going to talk about more what this building is also providing for you as a blueprint because it's not only a nice looking uh, palace. It is also and I'm I must say this because I, I am fairly happy about the fact that you know I, I managed to squeeze this all in. It has some nice facilities in the build. Uh, so below the towers you will have a hidden facility area where there is a big kitchen, there is a staff room, there is a transformer uh, or transformator I should say, transformer whatever, um, this energy thing and there is also the water pump uh, to keep the water clean and you can see there are two shops also on top of the building which uh, will drag the people in this area they will be able to buy some food they will be able to sit down and then look at the animals so this will be a pretty crowded balcony i guess um which you can use to your favor and make this a money printing machine so this this blueprint is quite expensive um but it should make up for the money loss if you are in franchise later on and you have researched every of your uh uh, scenery um, elements because that's a, a thing you need to do you need to have researched all of the different themes otherwise you will not be able to use this unfortunately it's the same issue as in uh, planet coaster where uh, no matter in which theme i do sort this in you still need to have every single theme researched once there is one little piece used and i used a piece from every theme so a theme that means you need to have every theme researched I, it, it's still something i would love frontier would tackle a bit differently but hell that's the way it is I shouldn't complain about that because I don't play this casually anyways, but for the casual players I would have just loved to see um, that once this building I would totally put this into the oh, well Let's say since there is no Arabian theme I would put this into the Asian theme for example and as soon as you have the Asian theme Research it would be nice that you guys could be able to um, use this and then the game just simply locks the scenery items So you can't use them, but you can look at so that would make sense because then it, you know the blueprints would be a bit more usable but well, that's the way it is and I don't want to complain too much about it. Um, <laughs> just, just randomly saying that. So yeah, we are still building a lot of details on here to make sure that this building looks finished. At the end, I'm, I'm fairly happy, but with all the facilities, it also appeared that I needed to build a bit more backstage, which you will see in a few seconds. There will be some backstage um, kind of styling going on as well, so that this is all looking nice. And this balcony or this area over here with the stairs is purely cosmetic, so you don't need this. It, it's only here to provide some kind of context so that, you know, this building or the roof doesn't look that empty. You could argue this could be something for the staff members anyways, where they go on top, but it it's purely a uh, scenery it's nothing of value if you will what it is it is visually uh, from you know having some value for the build but it's it's not functional or whatever for those of you who are wondering it's it's just me who wants always to have a building that looks nice from every angle you look at and um, depending on, on where the guests look but if the guests are roaming around they should see and since there is this little bit of uh, path going there I just wanted to have a little bit of context and here we go with the backstage area which at the beginning of this episode is not functional but if you download the uh, blueprint later on this area will be functional because there will be a um, there will be the staff path connected to the facility areas exactly in here you will have an opening um, next to the door where the people can go out or the staff members and go into the habitat to provide the animals with some food and pooping or pooping or whatever uh, but I think it's cool that we do have this little bit of um backstage uh, access over here it looks a lot more uh, realistic with having all these empty food boxes here and stuff so i i always use this and, and love to have that i have it to to give the whole area a bit more of context and realism approach it's not as heavy as in planko and i'm not going as as detailed into these kind of things because i i just felt it's not necessary and also was lacking a bit of 
pieces, to be honest. Like, there could have been a bit more uh, in terms of uh, backstage pieces. There are a lot of cool little bits and pieces for the wall and air conditioning and stuff. But yeah, well, no, it, there is enough, but it, it, it can always be better. I'm sounding so demanding here, but it's it's just you, you know, you we are coming from such a high level with Planet Coaster. It's hard to it's hard to adjust to to a game now which is starting from from the get-go again. And to be fair, from the get-go we didn't have that many pieces or useful pieces in Planet Coaster, not at all. So Planet Zoo sets a whole different level here already. Um, but yeah, Planet Coaster obviously after three years had so many great pieces. Uh, that it's pretty hard to go back and, and just use what it's in. Um, but I feel like it's another challenge. It's, it's giving you this um, new environment, this new sandbox to play with, you know. Uh, it's almost like you have a sandbox where you've been playing with your friends for years now and you know every little sandstone, you know, you know every little bit of this little sandbox and uh, no matter what you do, it always feels like a bit more like the thing before um and and this is now you know you change the city you go into a pretty new sandbox with your friends and you don't know shit about the sandbox and you can just build again from scratch and it's feel, feeling new and refreshing and that's exactly what i feel with this game so yeah that's pretty cool and yeah i needed to change some of the uh roofs over here to, to you know <laughs> well, save some pieces, I must say. My first blueprint attempt was way over the 4,000 pieces, which is the piece limit again for the blueprints, and uh, I failed. So, uh, yeah, well, I ended up um, deleting those uh, onion roofs, which always consist over, I think they had 800 or more pieces to it. So, deleting one of those roofs was always uh, a, a good a saver <laughs> uh, in terms of uh, pieces. And I, I kind of created just two of them now to be with the simple art shapes. So that's the difference of 785 pieces. No, more. Uh, 93 pieces because actually I only needed seven single pieces to create an onion roof out of the simple art shapes. But it doesn't look as nice. That's the downside of it. But you couldn't do anything else. Now let's talk about the toilet. It's my least favorite facility in the game because it's just this black hole. And I... I d I don't like it. So that's why I just decided to cover it up completely. I even put a door in because I felt like, you know, if they if they move into a black hole anyways, they can actually at least move into a door then, right? Um, it's not animated whatsoever, but uh, since they go into a black hole anyways, uh, they can also... It, it doesn't matter if the door is animated or not, they can just crush into the door because they do it anyways. Oh well, whatever. So you can see some final bits and tweakings here. I just move all the pieces a little bit uh, to make sure that the uh, pillars and stuff are all... P oh god, I just... I hope my plop filter did a good job on that because I just heard in my ear this with a p uh, Oh, whatever. Um, so I'm still ru I'm, I'm, I'm running my new microphone, by the way. So if you if you're not familiar with the sound, how it, how it sounds, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just still testing out on that uh, to find the perfect balance in between all the settings. It has a lot of really great settings, but uh, yeah, I need to I need to make sure that I I keep track of what I can do and and improve whatever I can do. Yeah, well. Anyways, uh, last week, as I said, um, now looking into actually the animals moving around, where they can traverse or one, where not, and uh, just making sure that some of the areas um, are not traversable for them. I just want to make sure that they don't break out. That's as simple as it uh, can be. But now the last thing I'm doing is uh, building a little garden here. It's not even a garden. It's almost like a lost little oasis. And I wanted to have this so that it's looking a bit more interesting once the camels are going down to this little water lake thing over here. As you can see, no matter where I put it, the um, hitboxes stroke again. So I made sure that at the end of the day, the camels can still use this area. So I was changing the pillars um, constantly until I was really happy with them. You can see I'm using a lot of pieces to, to find the perfect uh, balance between a little bit of golden and, and shiny metal tint, but also this kind of... Uh, normal pattern from the uh, plaster walls that's kind of kind of the uh, the little contrast i was using the whole time here and i feel like it, it works good even though i had two less of shiny pieces so i i was trying to abuse some of the pots and stuff in the end and i feel like it, it really worked out pretty well like i'm i'm fairly happy with how it worked out and again here checking again and figuring out okay there's still not enough space in between and yeah then i ended up going even bigger but one thing that i didn't end up is doing this roof which i'm creating right now it's i don't know it was ugly i deleted it i ended up with something else way more simple um this was kind of a nice attempt but i i feel like it really looked at, i don't know 
it doesn't look nice. It, it just looks interesting, but interesting is not always nice. So I, I just decided to not go with this weird roof idea. It, it had something to it, but I just didn't feel it. So I ended up doing very, very simple pillar work and then put an onion roof, a simple R-shaped onion roof on top, which is not maybe my favorite, but I, I felt like this would uh, fit this area the most because I... I think this is everything you can do at this point and then I was also reaching the peak limit again. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this because now that's the end of the footage. You will get some more nice cinematics now of camels fighting and also a baby camel. Oh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. I'm, I'm just super hyped. The camel happiness episode is here. That was the one thing I wanted to do for the whole time. Now I'm my, li my life is complete as I said and we are going to continue with some other really great stuff today. There is my uh, sandbox series is starting today as well. This is just a one-off project. You will see a whole series um, which is starting today. Also tutorials. I got you covered if you need tutorials and everything else. Make sure to keep an eye on my channel. There's a whole lot of content to be released uh, sooner than later I tell you. So have a great, great day guys. Enjoy this game. If you haven't bought it already do it and if you subs haven't subscribed already do it as well to see more planet zoo awesomeness and i hope to see you guys in the next one until then have a great great time and enjoy this baby camel now bye Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you have just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean. Just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.